ladies and gentlemen, to week number two of the Emergence Days Weekly Invitational. I am Ryan, a.k.a. Ryan Fools. Joined alongside me is my co-caster, my co-host, and my just all-around good buddy, Jacob, a.k.a. PR. Jacob, we are on map number three right now, Reciprocity versus Rise Nation. We've had two incredibly close maps thus far. We're kicking off the final map of just the grand finals and the whole tournament itself on Harbor. I'm excited. Looks like Reciprocity not quite as excited as they are currently five dead. So kind of obviously hopped in a little bit late, but looking like another strong start for Rise Nation. Yep, and doesn't, it doesn't look like they, they've slowed down any bit after winning map number two. You see them already putting that pressure on the home hill. They just need to be really, really careful right now because the short respawn timers are going to allow the members of Reciprocity to be able to die and respawn and just push over and over again until they eventually get you off their home hill. Vexy's unfortunately, he's going to get taken out. Powers is going to be put full red again. We've seen what he can do while he's full red. Drix is going to fall. Powers is going to fall. So three members from Rise Nation are going to get dropped off the map when they had full control. Yeah, definitely see Reciprocity kind of surviving and now grabbing a hold of that B-Hill. Didn't go down too much in points, obviously, as they'll be able to quickly kind of, you know, push that time gap back in their favor soon enough. But you're going to see Avexi starting to make his push up towards the top side of the map. You see Rezik holding down this B-Hill and the push is starting to begin. Here comes the hold from Reciprocity. Averse are going to come in, get the kill on Sleepy, get the revive being taken out. And then the trades are going to come in. So big, great job by Aversa to get the kill and then get the revive for the trade. And Vexi is not wasting any time here, trying to threaten and, and get that hill neutralized. That way, Rise uh, Reciprocity is not able to come back and, and continue to regain some points. But he's going to go ahead and push forward, trying to catch somebody off guard, unable to connect with anything. And he's not going to stop just yet, unless Franchise is yeah. going to be the one to do it. He takes him out. So Reciprocity trailing for about a second, should take the lead here. And now it's up to Rise Nation to make the next push. Yep, now Reciprocity has control of both B and C. They now have the time lead back in their favor. And they're looking to retake that top side of the map. You see Power's taking out Sleepy. Drake's going to be taken down, but here comes Detox. Get a quick revive on him. Players of Reciprocity starting to drop right now. Rushy's taking a low health. Icy trying to make a big play at Winch. Going to go down as well. This could turn into a Rise Nation push right now as Rezik is making his way over to the Re sorry Rise Nation home hill, trying his best to just kind of stall time for his team. These are quick spawns right now. We're going to take out Aversa. Aversa going to miss roll. Rezik going to, I think, miss the shot. And Aversa is going to make him pay. And now it's the race over to the B hill. Rise Nation now in the process of trip capping. Hills are being capped and decapped left and right. Icy looking to kill Powers towards his home hill. Not going to be able to do it. Powers is going to do a little dance and chunk him. Rushy's though going to be there to pick him up and pick up a Versa. Great job by Rushy's as he needs to get this hill cap and it needs to be fast. They only have a small, small lead and it's going to be dwindled away sure enough as two hills are in Rise's favor. So Reciprocity needs to beeline it over towards that B hill. And now you see players also splitting over to A. So if these two breaks can come in, that'll spell absolute trouble for Rise Nation. You see the, the smoke coming in. Rasik trying to do his best just to, just to get a break. If anything, not going to be able to do it though. Both home hills are going to be in Rise's favor, and Jacob, there's not going to be enough time for this. Rise is going to come out of this with the first round win. Yep, and we started the game off with, with Rise Nation having the upper hand on that initial, and, and just seemed like to go their way. The, the, in the entirety of that match, I know there was a couple blood shots going back and forth between these two teams where it ended up being a nail biter at the end, but to me, Rise Nation seemed to be winning a lot of the initials, starting to set up well. It, it, to me, it all happens, or it goes downhill, I should say, when they attempt to go for some sort of triple cap. And this is something I was talking about in Boston about this team. Their timing seems to be off. And, and to me, it's a team thing because you switch out Jerpy, you bring in Shock, that you know they win. And then you, you switch out Shock, you bring in Aversa, and then they're having kind of the same problems again. So that's just a switch that, that can't be a switch. You need to have it on at all times. And from there you go. But it just looks like... Sometimes when they're pressing in for a triple cap, they get slayed when they need to go for another round of kills. When they go for another round of kills, that's when they should be pressing for a triple cap. And I think once Rise Nation is able to fix that portion of their game plan, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Definitely agree. Like, can't say it enough. They have just such an incredible slaying core on this team. They have great kind of support players like Drix. You don't never get enough love because he's not the flashiest player, but just makes such an impact on this Rise Nation team. But I want to quickly touch on the fact that we have a Torque Bow up top, not the most common weapon placement on this map. A lot of times you see kind of an M-bar up top, and man, look at Avexi. He's just having his way up top, opening up with a two-piece. 
Reciprocity trying to answer with some kills of their own. Three members go down. Sleepy and Rezik are all that remains. Sleepy doing his best to try to get out. At least get a kill with him. Not going to be able to do it. And here goes Powers on his way towards that B hill right now to pinch Rezik and to try and get control of that neutral hill. Here comes the Lancer right in his back. You see his teammate, Drix, doing a great job of playing it smart, continuing to back roll, not getting put in, in, in kind of, you know, one shot situations. And they do clean up the kill. So just a very, very well played team fire by Rise Nation. They're continuing to get kills on this second wave, and they're looking to maybe go for a, you know, a two cap and then a three cap. Yeah, I, I do like what Powers is doing. He's facilitating around the hill. He's not necessarily going in B because he's in position to actually pick up and get these kills. So great heads up play by Powers and knowing when you're able to get this kill over the hill and when you should be able to go for the hill because right now Rise Nation seemingly doing everything right. Rezik trying to make that the case for reciprocity as him and Rush is picking up a pair of kills. But is it going to be enough? Rise Nation has two hills. They have the lead. Reciprocity has the numbers. So it's all about what they do with it from there. Rush is actually going to go ahead and push all the way across. And backtracking now. He's trying to catch a versus off guard. Getting him full red. And that's going to be icy with the killing blow. Now you're going to see B in favor of Reciprocity. Now they're on their way towards that C hill as well. So quick rotation by Reciprocity. I think Rush didn't mean to have that weapon out. Detox makes him pay. And now he's chasing Rezik up top and looking to take out this 2v1 and take control of the top side of the map. You see help coming in. Power is going to look to get that kill onto Rezik. Rezik going to pick up the first one, get that meat shield. Smart play there as it gives his teammate time to rotate up there. And Sleepy gets the kill on Power. So very good job by Rezik there to get the kill, buy some time, and then a great rotation by Sleepy to Reciprocity, looking poised to push this Sea Hill and potentially take their first round of map three. See Rezik going back with the Lancer, Icy playing up with the shotgun, making sure anybody that comes through, Icy just needs to one shot him, but if you miss your shot, that's not how it's gonna play down. Detox doing what he can, taking out Icy, pushing for more, trying to save powers, lands a good shot, but it's not enough to be a killing blow, but he's gonna bounce around, go ahead and getting one, gets the retouch of Versa. Yeah, that's right. Chunk through a meat shield like that. That was nuts. Touch. Either way though, the round will be on the board for Reciprocity. Great rotations there. That was the story of the round to me, was just the way they rotated to each other. And then once they got those numbers, they pushed together, they made a coordinated effort, and they made it over. And by the way, Powers has 14 kills in two rounds. That's crazy. That is insane. Yeah. One of them was a losing round. 14 I, I, and four. I can't say enough about this guy's slang ability, man. He has just uh, an uncapped potential and just... Hey, I don't even honestly say 14 kills in two rounds. What, what do you even say about that? Yeah, just, his shoot, a, his shoot, a button works. Shoot back. Someone shoot back. <laughs> That's what I have to say. It's just insane because he's fully mastered the movement and being able to reaction shot because I, I, I know talking to a couple of players and even just watching a couple of these streams when everyone went back to Gears of War UE, they were saying Powers is still reaction shotting in a way that they didn't really see in UE. Yeah, there was reaction shots in UE, but Powers is doing something a little bit different and that's what kind of happens when, when you get this new generation of gamers going back on all, these, on all these games. They figure out new things and new mechanics that weren't necessarily found out in the past. Definitely. Hopping on board with Powers once again, seeing if he can continue his reign of terror through the first two rounds. Looks like he's going to decide to get out. Vexy's once again, man, we can't say it enough, continues to just get the weapon and get out quickly. Powers versus Rush, he's kind of playing back and forth with this cover. Going to make the rotation up towards that top side. Icy going to pick up a nice kill on Aversa. Rush is taken out. Trade's kind of going back and forth. Powers even killing his own team. He just can't stop shooting the whole map. And now Reciprocity seems to have you know, some control over this top side. Is Powers going to decide to save his life and get out, or is he going to try to even the odds? You can see he has a teammate coming as well. A lot of back and forth right now on both the top side of the map and bottom side. Franchise getting that kill and pinching him. I don't know if he knows the right. Another Rise Nation member is going to come right to his side and try and sideline him. Oh my gonna, god. Going to make it pass. Powers finally going to get taken out. And Rec, there he is. Again, the Versa going for the sideline. Now Rec finally taking control of B. Powers has like two lives for every one life. Like you have to kill him twice for him to actually die because his, his movement is just insane and he shows it time and time again. Nice shot by Rush, he's there with a nice reaction shot. Probably getting Detox full red and that shot right there probably didn't do anything other than keep him full red along with that one as well. If you take even like a 0.1% damage, it stops your healing, it resets it. So even if you're not gonna actually get them red and stopping the healing is good enough but unfortunately for Rush, these two Lancers going to come out, probably get him killed there as Detox is going to push up. Powers is going to push up as well. So Rise Nation, every time you look at the map, they seem to be in the right place at the right time. 
definitely, and you're starting to see Rise kind of held a double home hill for a little bit, ended up taking over that B. Rezik, though, opening up with a two piece. Only three members now are alive for Rise Nation. Powers going to look to kind of slow down these players heading towards that B hill. I don't know. If they know that Detox is going to be right around that corner. Finally shows himself. Fran going to be taking down a very low health. Icy comes to the rescue. Smokes are coming in. You see Rezik, though, going to make a great flank, putting shots in from everywhere. Look at that team fire as five members go down. <laughs> For Rise Nation, Drix will be the only one coming off spawn soon, but it will likely not be enough as he needs to get a full break. Not even going to make the attempt. What a fantastic mid-round wipe. Fantastic rotations at the B-Hill, and Reciprocity puts their second round on the board. There you guys have it. The back-and-forth action you've seen from the first map has continued round after round, leading us all here to the third map, where it's 2-1 to one in favor of Reciprocity. And this is all going down without the full roster of Rise Nation. So you, so you got to wonder, you, you know, they won week number one. They're here in the finals, still playing in map number three of week two. What happens when Shot comes back? What happens when Optic Gaming is done from vacation, when Ghost Gaming returns as well? When all these teams are kind of firing up, getting ready for Gears 5, that's going to be one interesting sight to see. Definitely can't wait to see some of those teams in our weekly emergence days. Would be fantastic. I agree with you. I would love to see kind of these teams stack up against some of the teams that we don't have with us. Hurry up from vacation, Greenwall. We need to see you here. We miss you. Ghost Gaming, same to you guys, Jacob. You might know someone over at Ghost Gaming, so hopefully you can maybe help help me out in the future a little bit, pal. But heading on over to the initial, Avexi's going to almost get that quick pick. He's so good at getting that weapon and getting out. Instead, though, he'll just go ahead and get the opening kill instead. <laughs> I think that's a decent consolation prize. As Fran, however, picks up the weapon, Rezik picks up a kill, and Rush, giving the Vexi's a little bit of his own medicine, waiting around that corner for him and making him pay for it. Fran picking up the kill with the Torque Bow. Four members go down for Rise. Last alive is going to be Powers. Like you said, you got to kill him twice. They managed to do just that. They're going to be looking for this trip cap. Drix is going to be all alone. Is he even going to try and make it out this time? Last time he just sat there. He's going to give it a try. Not going to happen, though. Reciprocity, 3-1. And, and that's not good if you're a fan of Rise Nation because if you get these guys go and if you if you get the momentum on the side of reciprocity it, sometimes it's going to be over before you know it and especially when you got rushies and, and icy firing on all cylinders then you have a sleepy time feeling himself it's just it's just not something you want to let happen so this next weapon placement is i thought it was going to be pretty important but if you see the block in the middle the torque up top not much can kind of change up the way the style goes but with the marks are there it's going to allow for a lot of damage to go down early on during the catwalk push towards up top. So somebody, Vexi's Rush or franchise, can possibly get their quick pick strat halted before they even get towards the ramps. Yeah, the marks always makes this fight so interesting because it just it kind of freezes your movement sometimes, right? The second those bullets start to hit you, they can just put you down so fast. So curious to see how these players put it to work right now. You see the Vexi's kind of navigating through the smoke right now. Two players from Reciprocity looking to get him in the process. Not going to be able to do it, though. Vexi gets the opening kill. Aversa follows it up, and three quickly go down for Reciprocity. Sleepy time stuck right now between a rock and a hard place. Absolutely nowhere you can go. Four go down. Torpo in their hands, and there are five members of Rise Nation pushing forward. Rezik's the only one alive with that hammer burst over at B. Can he do anything to keep his team in this? Gets the touch. It's going to buy some time for Reciprocity right now. Both Fran and Icy are up. They can get a touch of their own on the home hill. There might be a chance, but it's going to be tough with these players looking right at him. Icy getting the first kill. Gets enough time for the break. Rush trying to do a little bit of the same. Going to be taken down as well, and Sleepy's all that remains. If he goes down here, there is nothing he can do about it. Gets one, but will not be able to kill the rest, and that is going to be another round on the board for Rise Nation. We are going to be set at 3-2, to two, heading into the last round of the half. 22-second respawn timers coming up a weapon has to be placed over towards b side of the map that's where you typically see you know frags or incense being placed since you, you don't want to change it up too much with a torque bow or a weapon up top in general but sometimes you might see a sniper get placed down especially when you have resic being played down there resic is actually a pretty good sniper but with incense and, and frags getting hovered that's what like i said you typically see those so that's going to be the same strategy we kind of seen before I didn't see Marks they used too much that last round. It was but so fast. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it all happened so quick, and that's kind of what happens when you get in these longer respawns rounds. 22 second respawners coming up. Yeah, but that, those nades pretty much just going to be the consolation prize for B. You're still going to see the bulk of the fight heading towards that top side. See who goes ahead and comes away with that torque. But like you said, the Marks didn't really show themselves a ton last round. Will they show themselves this time? 
We're hopping on board with Rush. He's throwing his initial smoke. Secondary is being picked up left and right right now. Going to take the initiative. Power is going to the initial shot on him oh and then turn God. around and just absolutely give him the Heisman. If is going to come away with that weapon like he always seems to do. Follow-up kills come in on the Icy. Rack trying to do their best to gain numbers back. Not going to be enough. Four members quickly go down. Rezik is going to be all that remains. And sometimes it's just so hard when you're that one player at the B side and your whole team gets wiped. You just get stuck between a, a, just tons of team fire here, there, and everywhere. And now Drake's going to look to cap that B hill. The full cap's coming in the home hill. So now Rush has to get an entirely full cap on the home hill just to even have a chance. Not going to do it. And we're going to end our first half with a score of 3-3. Three to three. Is this three maps in a row? It's 3-3? Three, three. It's, I, I do believe so, yeah. It's been very, very close. I think, yeah. it, I think we've had, I want to say we've had like three ones that turn into three threes like yeah. every time as well. It's it a feels lot of like, back yeah. and forth action. And confirmed, every map so far has been three to three. So it comes out, who is the better second half team? And map number one, it was Reciprocity. And map number two, it was Rise Nation. Map number three, only time will tell. Weapons are respawned. Our weapons are wiped off the map, respawn timers. Respect down to 12, and the hills are going to swap as well, but the strategy for the most part will stay the same. You're still going to see that top side come into play. Now, if anything, though, because the hill is there, you can make rounds that much quicker. Times Rush opening up with a big two piece on the Vexies and Powers. Aversa trying to kind of even out the scale. You see Detox coming up that ramp. Rush with, I believe, all four kills so far for Reciprocity, heading his way over to the D hill. He knows that players from Rise will be there shortly. Reza going to actually turn the back off right now, so Reciprocity is going to choose to just set up around their two hills rather than to push forward. It's very, very, very short spawn, so you can't blame them for that. Let's see how they can hold down this retake attempt from Rise Nation. You can see them starting to gather their resources, smoke in hand. They're ready for the push. Two coming up towards ramp. You see two towards that catwalk. Rush waiting for him. Going to shoot one during the revive. Vexy's on the other side, picking up a kill on Icy. Rush taking down to very low health himself, going to kind of jump back as best he can. Taken out as well, and a very successful retake from Rise Nation so far as all four members go down. And now E Hill is in their control. CF, all members of Reciprocity kind of spawning up, going towards that home hill. They know with that push from Rise Nation coming out, members are going to be swarming. Members aren't going to be pushing up. That's exactly what we're seeing. A verse on Detox picking up a pair of kills, triple cap. Opportunity does look like it's going to come out. Sleepy taken out. Franchise taken out. And there you have it. Rise Nation winning the first round of the half. And that is three consecutive rounds matching Reciprocity's three consecutive as well. But luckily for Reciprocity, they get to control the second half with their first weapon placement of the of the half. So realistically, this is this is going to be big. This is where you can put a big power weapon down and, and kind of make it the fight you want. Or you can kind of do the outer weapon placement and put a little bit of support weapon that that you like i like the idea of xing out the top and, and i think that that favors wreck because it seems like rise nation is doing such a better job at yeah. getting that weapon controlling it and then even at times getting it and just quickly getting out it's like reciprocity has once in a while and in one of the rounds they did fran put it to good use and got a couple kills but i i get the feeling that just that the weapon up top favors rise nation so much more so don't necessarily agree i would like to see an x up there right guarantee it that maybe if anything set yourself up to put something on the bottom side of the map maybe throw a different look at him so if you're rise nation right now you're pumped right you get another weapon to potentially play with because they've kind of won the the weapon battle for the most part of this yep and if they somehow win it again then they could easily easily begin to pull away with this one but hey wreck doesn't coming look out like swinging it. right now four dead drix last alive Quick spawns, though, so going to be a very, very difficult three cap. Drake's getting taken out as well. Members of Wreck will be hopping on the hill. Bow in the hands of Franchise. Avexi's pushing over, trying to get Rush. Rush pulling that chainsaw out. Not going to matter, though. Reciprocity finishes the round off. Jake, we might have hit him with the Caster's Curse as they came out swinging and got away with the weapon. Either way, we are at 4-4 four to four after a very quick 43-second round. Yep, now Rise Nation has a weapon choice of their own. Do they want to make it like the first half where they trailed and eventually caught up? But the X is surely going to do that. If you put the X, then we're going to see... The fight's going to be guaranteed to the top, pretty much. Five straight rounds. A few X up, middle, up yeah. I mean, unless, what, you put a boom shot <laughs> at the original B hill? I mean, we don't hardly <laughs> ever see that. I don't think either of these teams have an idea. This is going to be uh, very interesting. We're going to see three people run up top. 
to me, it, it honestly comes down to the way Powers and Rushies are kind of playing it as well, because it's usually one of those guys that are getting first blood, either that or Fran or Vexies is getting the weapon first. Definitely. See if Reciprocity can continue to chain some rounds together, continue to win that top side, or will we see Rise take control of the top side of the map as they have, for I would say, a good majority of this map so far. It seems like they've been kind of the more dominant team up top, uh, just, you know, from the last few rounds at least. But Icy came out with a huge two-piece to start out this last round. Can he do it again? Rush, of course, big four-piece the other round. See if they can continue to come big for their team. You're seeing Rush getting behind enemy lines right now, using that mark to get some shots, and Icy opening up with a kill again. Fran as well. Rush is kind of bouncing around, not really making up his mind where he wants to go, but Detox made up his mind for him, taking him out. But he's going to get put full red, flanked by Rezik, I do believe that was, or Drix, I should say. Sleepy time, taking out Detox, Franchise with the Torque Bone. Franchise, probably one of the best Torque Bows in Gears of War history. Unable to put that one to use, but that's partially because, you know, Drix didn't really show himself. He doesn't see effects, he's there. Oh, oh my no. gosh. Can't happen if you're franchise. You need to be more aware of that situation. I see getting hey. pushed up there while spotted. Oh, That's gonna allow. Oh, this is bad. Okay, taken out. That's five dead right there. Yep. Yeah, that was that was tough. You, you just you, you saw like a vex <laughs> just like like a shark swimming in the water, and you just knew the jaws were coming as that bow is revving, <laughs> and then he just decides to absolutely pounce on him, get him in the middle of the bow rev, and just absolutely sideline him. Great flank by Avexis and Rise has once again taken a lead, five to four. I thought he was gonna. I thought he saw him the way he looked at the bow at that cover, and he just quickly turns away. I'm just oh no. I literally, I literally got like the jaws feel like the dun dun. <laughs> dun, 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 and then he just chunks him with the bow. Unfortunate, but hammer burst being placed on the side. So we're going to see that same up top torque fight. And this is where, like I said, it's going to be up to Rushies and Powers. That time, Rushies bringing his front spawn towards the winch. Powers kind of not doing that. Kind of turtling back towards their side of the map. So I want to see Rushies do a little bit more with this front spawn and, and kind of like take over the, these rounds. If no one's going to be there contesting him, they kind of make sure that they, they pay for not contesting you. Yeah, they seem to have improved on this top side more kind of towards the second half. Detox going to open up on a kill with Icy. Rush going to be taken down as well. Numbers starting to sway in favor of Rise. If Icy's going to get that bow, can he make any use with it? Sleepy going to get team fired and likely taken out of Versa though. Has to be careful as he has help. E-Hill going to be in Rise's favor. Sleepy though going to get the kill on a Versa. Drake's going to follow up with a kill on Rezik right now, and the D-Hill is being decapped right now. Wreck has basically two opportunities to get breaks. Rush oh up top God. gets the first kill, gets the meat shield. Avexi's though, is he going to get the kill on him in the meantime? No, not yet. Rush is still low. Gets the down, but bought his team a little bit of time right now as that F-Hill is being decapped. He bought his team just enough time right there. And so did Franchise as well, as you see. That's, that's Rise Dates to Tomo, I believe. He's over on enemy side of the map, especially if he can pick up this kill on Aversas and kind of stay over on that side of the map, forcing three members to him. Make that two as he takes out Aversas, finally going to drop to Detox. But Reciprocity, the damage has been done. This is their opportunity to kind of push up top, especially since three members of Rise Nation are dead. You do have a little bit of an upper hand for just a few short moments, but you need to capitalize on those seconds. Rushy's icy. They need to get this kill because if they take too long, the members of Rice Nation are going to spawn up and they're going to get on their side. But if Vex, he's going to even that one up and get out alive. That's going to allow for Drix and the rest of Rise Nation to push up. Like I said, they needed to get that kill quick. And since they didn't, they turn around and they're paying for it. 4v3 situation in favor of Rise. More players from Esperance coming up top. Going to get taken out. E Hill now will be in control of Rise as Rise holds the time lead and now holds the neutral. You're seeing the double home hills coming in from. Reciprocity, Rezik gonna get the kill on Drix as well, trying their best to kind of sway the tides back in their favor, so they get that time lead back in their hands. They have to be careful, if is gonna have that bow. Here comes Rezik and Reciprocity on this top side of the map. Sleepy gonna get a kill on Powers. Numbers swaying in the favor of Reciprocity. Sleepy being taken out by Detox in the meantime, but the neutral hill is back in the hands of Reciprocity. is gonna get out of Dodge and Rise's home hill is now decapped, so Reciprocity is gonna be able to start to get closer to tying this time lead back up. They are swarming Avexis right now. Rezik gonna pick that new bow up, and Avexis is gonna get taken out, but gets Rushies right before he goes down, so good play by him there. And just push after push after push. Aversa going to now get the decap on E once again. So now Rise Nation will be back in control of the neutral hill and the time lead. 
Yeah, if history says anything about this round, it's going to go for reciprocity. It's going to be tied up here 5-5. Five to five. But if Rise Nation has anything to say about it, with the way this round has been going, they, they want to go ahead and go up 6-4, to four, and they want to solidify this right now. Adversa is actually doing a good job of not taking too much damage on the pre-push. Lots of smokes coming out from Rise Nation to kind of cloud where Adversa can get these nice shots, but somebody snuck behind him. That's going to be Rezik, or Sleepy Time. He's actually going to pick up that kill as well. Icy getting one of his own, so Reciprocity with the decaps. They do need to go for one more, but if you look at D, Rise oh, Nation's no. on Reciprocity's side of the hill, so it doesn't even matter if they get the decap because Icy's only one person. They need one on each hill. D is actually not even being capped at all, so Icy has an opportunity, but as I finish that sentence, it's going to be all shut down by Detox. Another big play by Detox. He continues in the first two weeks of our Emergence Days Invitational, making massive plays in how Rise Nation finds themselves on map point, match point, and tournament point. Jacob looking to yep. win back-to-back -back Emergence Days Invitationals. Can Reciprocity bounce back, or will Rise Nation be crowned once again? Frag grenades going in towards the dock. Wouldn't expect anything less, so for our next round, we got a surprise for you guys. It's going to be the same <laughs> exact strategy <laughs> going into it. Big surprises all around. Let's see if Rack maybe throws something a little different at him. Yeah, right now, I mean, like I said, I, I want to see Rushies be the guy to kind of kind of change up the fight, but we've seen him getting there first and, and kind of not necessarily really do anything with his front spawn. Take it out by Powers again, and Powers is going to strike first, and Powers isn't even their front spawn, so this is a good open up for Rise Nation, especially as he's in another fight with Sleepy Time, which means the numbers up top are going in favor. And if you, if you can bounce like that and still hit the shots as he takes out oh. Sleepy Time, you're on your way to your second championship in a row. Poetry in motion by Powers, and he's going to continue to just push through and make Reciprocity's life a living hell. Three members go down. Torque Bow in the hands of Powers. They now have the D Hill, the E Hill. They will have the time advantage soon. They have the power weapon advantage. How does Reciprocity bounce back? They're going to be able to spawn back up. It looks like Rise is not pushing for the three cap just yet. Maybe looking to get a pick off with that Torque Bow. Drix and Avex is going to spawn back up as well. So both teams will be at full strength, but both of those hills now in Rise's favor, and they have taken over the time lead. Yep, and with Powers sitting up top pretty with high ground and that torque bow, which means he's going to have a shooting ducks in a barrel right now with that thing, and he just needs to be able to land a shot. I know he sees Sleepy Time trying to move up. I know he sees Franchise in the back as well. It's all about it. where, where this push is going to come out for Rest Boss. They're going to do like a fake audible push through the middle, or are they going to try and bring Icy and Rushies back and push up towards top? It's I do think it's going to be the second one, but... Ooh, I thought that hit him. It looked like it stuck, but it's tough either way, man. That bow looking down at you. It's tough. You make the OE. It's tough. To push up the. I think push up the ramp's the best bet, just because you can smoke it off, and make it a little harder than it would if you can OE. So definitely, you know, this is kind of reciprocity's best play in my eyes. So the decap starting to come in. The splash damage from that bow could make it tough, and it does. Uses the splash damage to take franchise out. Three members go down. That's that's four. Jacob, this might be it right now. Four members are down. All they have to do miracle. is take out Rezik for the hill, and he's about to go down. That's gonna do it, Jacob. Rise Nation is going to get the triple cap. They are going to win this map, and they are going to take home week number two of our Emergence Days Invitational. Huge congratulations to Rise Nation for being back-to-back -back champions. Huge congrats to Aversa for stepping in, showing up, and also becoming one of our Emergence Days champions. Yep, and two in a row. And doesn't look like Rise Nation stopping anytime soon. They won it last week with their actual...